Welcome back. I teased a move that our Rich Saperstein has made in the market. You bought Fidelity National FIS. Why? It's a $40 billion software provider to the financial services industry, 2% dividend yield. But 80% of their revenue is recurring. They're growing at 6%. They have a 9% operating cash flow. So you take out the dividend, they have some capbacks, and they're going to start doing some very significant buybacks. All right. How recently was, uh, was the buy made? Still buying it. Are oh, you still buying it? Okay. Appreciate you mentioning it. Mm -hmm. uh, let me remind you what's coming up on Closing Bell as well today. We have Cameron Dawson with me, Joe Terranova. We have the former Dallas Fed president, Robert Kaplan. Also <coughs> just added an interview with the Wall Street Journal's Nick Timoros on what the Fed's going to do next. So uh, mm -hmm. I hope you'll join me at 3 o'clock Eastern time as we catch up on all things markets and I take you through the final stretch. Let's do some final trades. Shannon, why don't you start us off? Uh, I'm going to talk about commodities. Uh, this is my contrarian trade of the year, and um, we're finally getting some steam behind it. So happy to see uh, happy to see some motion in commodity prices. All right, Jason Knight. Chubb, a lot of excitement around insurance. Operating income was up 42% per year over year. I like this one. All right, Rich Saperstein. Chevron, great returns of capital to shareholders and a geopolitical hedge, and I love the sector. All right, obviously do. Way overweight energy, <laughs> says Rich Saperstein. <laughs> All right, Josh Brown. Uh, toast, not just because I love being asked to give someone a tip when they hand me a muffin, <laughs> but because they have earnings coming up on May 7th, and I think we'll see uh, a good quarter, so I'm long here. All right, good stuff.